You've heard the term, you're making this way too complicated. Well, today, we're taking that to a whole new level. In fact, all the way to the Guinness Book of World Records. What's our not-so-simple task? Watering a plant? So, Zach, could you give us a little background on what is a Rube Goldberg? Sure. A Rube Goldberg machine is a overly complex device consisting of just common household items put together in order to solve a ridiculously simple task, uh, such as this year's machine of watering a plant. So we started the process of developing this Rube Goldberg machine after we received the task for the competition. Um, just pulling together a lot of ideas for steps, ideas for modules, trying to take what the overall task was of the machine, um, and then just a lot of dedication and effort by our team to make this machine really reliable is a uh, basically our secret to success. With a Rube Goldberg machine, each section has to work off of each other by the fact that one section has to connect with the next section. Uh, and that's a lot to do with the different team members having to interwork with each other in order to complete the task. So one group would have to come together, build a module, talk with the group uh, next to it in step with the lines, uh, as featured with the machine, say, um, ancient medieval era up until World War II. They need to talk to each other in order to see what their step's gonna do in order to correlate what's gonna happen next. We started off just in overall brainstorming when they released the task of watering a plant. Uh, from that, we sit down, we come up with many ideas, we pull from a list of steps that we have. Um, from there, we divide it up, and then uh, several months later, you know, here's a Rube Goldberg machine. It really is a stupidly simple yet complex process that we go through to build these things. With a machine this size, it normally takes anywhere between 2,000 and 4,000 hours to build. The machine behind me feature is built with uh, 3,500 man hours uh, dedicated by our team. What section probably took the longest for you guys to complete? Uh, so the longest section, funny enough, was one of the more simpler tasks, and that was setting the rocket off going to the moon. Uh, there was a lot of engineering challenges with it, trying to puncture the hole precisely, getting it to actually fire up to a moon since you're working with something pretty volatile. Um, and it just it wasn't completed till the very end, uh, right up till the national competition. For this machine to actually break the Guinness Book of World Records, it needs to be considered the longest Rube Goldberg machine. What that means is a machine that features the most amount of steps, and a step is defined by the transfer of energy from one module to another. So, and in this year's machine, it features 244 steps, breaking the old world record of 230. A lot of our team members move on to various engineering firms, very well-known engineering firms, after they're done with our company. A lot of companies love the fact that we can think outside of the box, so we're always looking for new members, looking for new people to uh, join into the creativity of our team. Zach, taking a look at this machine, it's incredible. How do you go about topping something like this? <laughs> so that's actually one of our most popular questions. How do we top what we've already done? And we currently have two main methods that we're going to do. We're coming back in the 2012 competition, and then there is our new secret project that we're working on coming in, coming out this fall. It's with the Discovery Channel, and it's going to be airing sometime this fall, potentially. Um, and it's just, you really have to use your imagination what's going to be happening. If you had the opportunity to use uh, New York City as your own playground, what would you do? Thanks to Rube Goldberg, Boilermakers are always coming up with new and unique ways to energize the world. Be sure to check these guys out on YouTube. For Boiler Bites, I'm Keith Brashber.